turning your Bibles with me to the word of the Lord found in the book of Genesis chapter 37 and beginning at verse number one. That's Genesis chapter 37 and verse number one. And Jacob dwelt in the land wherein his father was a stranger, in the land of Cana. These are the generations of Jacob. Joseph, being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brethren, and the lad was with the sons of Bilhar and with the sons of Zephar, his father's wives. And Joseph brought unto his father their evil report. Now Israel loved Joseph and all his children because he was the son of his old age. And he made him a coat of many colors. And when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peacefully unto him. I want to talk to you today for a few moments here. The dreamer. The dreamer. Uh-huh. The dreamer. Glory to God. The dreamer. Joseph, the dreamer. And the word, the word of God tells us that Jacob, Jacob loved his son more Joseph more than all the rest, for he was the son of his old age. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that uh, this displeased the other brethren because uh, of what the father did to the younger son. Hallelujah. And the Bible, uh, this, the Bible says that uh, these things began to uh, disturb the other brothers. And the word of the Lord says, And Joseph dreamed and told his brethren, and they hated him. Yet the more for his dream sakes. Hallelujah. The dreamer, Joseph, ah, the dreamer. Amen. The Bible says that he dreamed a dream and told it to his brethren. And his brethren hated him yet the more for the dream's sake. Now the Bible says, and he said unto them, Here I pray you this dream which I have dreamed. For behold, we were binding sheaves in the field. And lo, my sheep arose and stood upright. And behold, your sheep round about made obeisance, which means bow down to my sheep. Uh-huh. He told them this, and that made them even yet more the anger. He told it to his father and his family, and his father observed him. Uh huh. And said, Do you indeed think or believe that we would bow down, me, your family, uh, to the earth unto you? Uh huh. So the Bible says he told them this dream and it displeased the brethren. Glory to God. Now the dream uh, didn't come from man, the dream came from God. Uh huh. Glory to God. Amen. So, so, so the word of the Lord said that this dreamer began to dream a certain dream uh, way before things were going to happen. Glory to God. Amen. So the Bible says that Joseph dreamed displeased or troubled his brother 
or his brethren. Amen. And the word of the Lord said, his father observed him. Glory be to God. Amen. So my friend, I'm going to tell you today that the dreamer, uh -huh, which was Joseph, began to dream and tell it to his brethren. And they hated him yet the more for his dream's sake and for his words. He began to tell them that my sheaves stood upright while your sheaves made obeisance, which means bow down unto him. Amen. So my friends, I'm here to tell you today that the enemy does not want you, amen, to plant your seeds of a dream into a people that does not believe in you. Come on, somebody. Amen. We have dreams that we dream, mm -hmm. but when we uh, dream, when we tell it, Tell it to someone, it begins to disturb them. Glory be to God. How God is going to move. Mm -hmm. You remember when times passed, when you had a dream and you didn't realize what the dream really meant. Well, God was placing you in a situation where you can focus on the power of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So look here at look here at the word of the Lord. The Bible says, and he and he dreamed yet another dream. And told it his brethren. And behold, I dreamed a dream more. And behold, the sun and the moon and even the eleven stars made obeisance to me. They bowed down to me. And he told it his father to his father and his brethren, and his father rebuked him, and said unto him, what is this dream that thou hast dreamed? Shall I and thy mother and thy brethren indeed come to bow down ourselves to thee to the earth? Well, God was, God had a plan for Joseph's life. Uh -huh. He had a design and a plan for the life of Joseph. Glory be to God. And he was putting Joseph in place for this dream. And the word of the Lord says, he came up upon his brethren one day, and they looked at him, and they said, uh, behold, here comes this dreamer. Hallelujah. Look at Joseph, the dreamer. Mm -hmm. Look at him saying how better he is than we are. But he wasn't talking about him being better. He was just telling them what God had showed unto him. Well, to make a long story short, hallelujah, they grabbed him, stripped him of his coat of many colors, which his father loved to see him in. Mm -hmm. And they threw him in a pit. Uh huh. Threw Joseph down in a pit. His brethren did this unto him because of the dream's sake, hallelujah, because of what he told them about his dream. He said that the 11 the stars of the earth was going to bow down unto him. Well, God was putting Joseph in a place of position mm -hmm, that would make him a very powerful individual in the land. Hallelujah. He didn't know this at the time. They didn't know this at the time. But God was working on Joseph. He was working on his life. Hallelujah. Like he's working on you today. There's a dream that God has given unto you. You can't tell nobody the dream because it would make somebody very upset. But I'm here to tell you, my friend, dream on and let God use you. Hallelujah. I've got a dream that God's going to move in this area of West Virginia. I've got a dream that God's going to deliver and bring about the people here in West Virginia. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So the word of the Lord says, 
the word of the Lord says that Joseph dreamed a dream, and it cost him to be thrown into a pit. Uh -huh. There was no water there, so he was not going to be drowned in the pit. And when they saw a band of merchants come about, they picked him up out of the pit. Now Reuben had moved away from the pit, and all of them were about doing different things. And Reuben was going to come back and kind of like, uh, you know, sneak his brother out of the pit and deliver him back uh, unto his father. But when he came back, uh, Joseph had already been sold, uh -huh, and he was being carried away into the land of Egypt. Hallelujah. This is how God was working in his life. He was stoned in the pit, sold as a slave, and lived in a house called Potiphar. Uh -huh. And Potiphar began to observe him and began to be pleased with his work. Glory be to God. So he began to put Joseph, a man that came uh -huh, from a faraway land, from the land of Cana, he began to put him in charge put him in charge of his household and give him a high position in his household. Hallelujah. And Joseph began to work diligently in his household. Amen. And it pleased Potiphar. He meant the one that he was sold unto. Glory to God. But I'm here to tell you, my friend, that the dream has not come to, to full fruition. It's still not yet finished yet. The dream that Joseph dreamed has not been completed yet. He, God was still working on Joseph. Hallelujah. God was still yet working on Joseph. Then, then they passed by merchants, amen, and they drew and lifted Joseph out of the pit. And so Joseph and sold Joseph, a man to the Israelites, for 20 pieces of silver. And they brought Joseph into Egypt. And Reuben returned unto the pit. And behold, Joseph was not in the pit. And he rent his clothes. He was fearful. He said, my brother is now dead. Uh -huh. But no, they told him, we sold him. And he's going to Egypt. Uh -huh. He's going to be going to Egypt with a band of merchants. Hallelujah. But I'm here to tell you, my friend, the dream was still yet not done. Uh -huh. God was still not yet finished working on Joseph. God had a plan, had to pick the plan that no one a man could understand. God had a plan for the life of Joseph that man couldn't even see. God had a plan for the life of Joseph that Joseph couldn't even see. Hallelujah. Joseph began taking charge over a man, uh, uh, Potiphar's house. He began to be in charge. He was the man that everybody came to. He was the one that everybody looked to for advice and for things. Hallelujah. God was just putting Joseph into place. He was a dreamer, yet he continued to dream. To dream dreams continued, uh, amen, to work on his life. Uh, hallelujah. So they went back to the father uh, and said, Father, uh, this is what we found. Uh, examine uh, this garment uh, and see whether it be uh, our brothers or your sons. Uh, hallelujah uh, to God. Uh, amen. He looked at it uh, and he looked at it and he saw uh, that it was Joseph's. Uh, amen. And he went his clothes uh, and he went down in sackcloth and ashes. Uh, they could not lift him up. His family couldn't bring him out. He was upset. He was angry because he thought, amen, his son had died. Well, he knew of a surety that his son had died because of the evidence that his brothers brought back unto him. Hallelujah. But God was bringing something further into the land of Canaan. 
God was bringing something worse into the land of Cana. And Joseph was down in Egypt. He was only 17 years of age, and he was being raised up in Potiphar's house. But the word of the Lord says that God was with him. Mm-hmm. My friend, God was with the life of Joseph. Glory be to God. He was with him, amen, every step of the way. And it came to pass. And it came to pass that at the time that Judah went down from his brethren and turned into a certain, and Judah saw there a daughter of a certain Canaanite whose name was Shush, and he took her and went in unto her. Uh-huh. My friend, the enemy was uh, uh, in control of that particular family at the time. The devil was leading the brothers into different types of mischief. Uh The enemy was bombarding the minds of the brothers. My friend, I'm here to tell you that the Bible says, and and Jacob rinsed his clothes and put sackcloth upon his loins and mourned for his son. Many days he was not, he was unable to be pleased. Nothing couldn't please him. He was unable to be pleased. Nothing couldn't soothe him. He went down in sackcloth and and ashes. He said, I feel that I'll go down to the grave mourning the loss of my son Joseph, whom I loved with all of my heart. My friends, I'm here to tell you that God was still yet working on Joseph. Hallelujah. Joseph became an overseer. A man of the house of Potiphar, he began to be the one that they looked to for advice and for things. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that Potiphar had a wife that looked at Joseph and she and Joseph and in her eyes, Joseph pleased her. But Joseph put everything into Potiphar put everything into Joseph's hand except his wife. Come on, somebody, talk to me. He put everything into the hands of Joseph except her. One day, uh, his boss, uh, Potiphar, went on a trip. Uh huh. And the wife said, this is my opportunity now to have this individual in my possession. She came in unto him. He ran, shook off his garment, and left it there. Mm -hmm. And when Potiphar came home, he said, you brought this Hebrew in here to mock us. Mm -hmm. And look what he done. He tried to attack me, tried to take me. Potiphar put uh, Joseph uh, into the jail system, uh, locked him up in jail, uh, mm -hmm, uh, took him and put him in prison. Uh, Joseph was in jail for a long number of years. Uh, Hallelujah. Uh, But I'm here to tell you, my friend, uh, that God uh, was with Joseph. Uh, Hallelujah. Uh, He was with the dreamer. Uh, mm -hmm, uh, God was with that dreamer, that dreamer Joseph. He was with him in trouble. He was with him in jail. He was with him in the pit. He was with him in the palace. He was with him every step of his life. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that God began to use Joseph even while he was even in the dungeon, while he was even in jail. God began to use him. Mm -hmm. He had freedom in jail, locked in jail, but yet he had freedom of walking here and there. They trust in him. They put trust in Joseph. The jail keepers put trust in Joseph and gave Joseph the command of all of those that were in the jail. Come on, somebody, talk to me now. God had a plan and a design for the life of Joseph, just like he has a plan and a design 
for your life on today. My friend, don't allow the enemy to crush your dream today in Jesus' name. Joseph, the dreamer, dreamed the dream, and God brought his dream to pass. He blessed him in the pit. He was with him in the pit. He, he was with him in the in, in part of his house, and he was with him in the dungeon. And God still yet was not through with Joseph. He had more for Joseph to do. May God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. In Jesus' precious name. Joseph, 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 the dreamer. In Jesus' name, amen.